Hello guys, we're gonna do problem 11.17 and we have several questions for this one. The first one is to draw a free body diagram of the beam. The free body diagram of the beam is right here. Um, first of all, we have the weight of the beam, which is exactly in the middle at 4.5 meters. Uh, we also have the tension of the cable, which is divided into two tensions, uh, the one in the horizontal direction and the vertical direction and also we have the um, the hinge of the pivot they're also divided into two for part b it's asking what is the heaviest beam that the cable can support in this configuration for this we will be rotating around the hinge that way that force is cancelled out we have a positive force which is the t tension um, times the distance which is three meters and then we have the negative force of the weight which is 4.5 meters um, two things that i did right here was to compare 1.10 kilonewtons into 1100 newtons and also to to find the angle uh, i used inverse tangent of 4.5 and then we can start plugging the numbers right here we get the, our answer in newtons, but if we want our answer in kilograms, like master in physics, we would just need to divide by gravity, which is 9.8, and we get 60 kilograms. And that is the heaviest that the cable can support. Now for part C, it's asking for the horizontal and vertical component of the force, the hinge exerts on the beam is the vertical component upward or downward for the horizontal component we're gonna use the sum of the forces in the x direction which is the hinge horizontal minus uh, t cosine of theta and then uh, the sum of the forces in the x direction should be zero so we can bring the um, this force to the other side and after we plug in numbers, we get 660 newtons. And now for the sum of the forces in the y direction, we're gonna find the hinge in the vertical direction. All right, we do the, form, the sum of the forces in the y direction, which is uh, negative hinge vertical and positive T sine theta minus the weight which we found it on this side right here. And now we can start plugging numbers and we get negative 293 newtons, which is in the negative direction. 